I was told never to try to fix one of these things. But I'm going to do the right thing and try it anyway. I'm Marv from Marv's Fix-It Shop. I've been fixing things for over five decades and I'm going to try to fix this. <clears throat> but I want you to be aware that these are not really designed to fix. If you've got one faulty in your house, I strongly recommend that you replace it and don't try to fix it. But I want to try to fix this one. I'm not going to put it back in a house or anything like that. I just want to see if I can get it going and what makes these things tick. So let's open this up and see what we have. This was in a kitchen and it's obvious that it's covered in grease and grime. So before I even take it apart, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean some of this. I'm going to be using Boss Degreaser and then I've just got a wet paper towel here. So let's saturate this with Boss Degreaser. If nothing else, we'll make sure it doesn't work again. Let that set just for a minute. Boy, that thing's dirty. And let's just start wiping. Yep, grease coming right off of that thing. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> this boss degreaser has always worked real well for me. If I think about it, I'll put a link in my description. If you're interested in picking some of that up, just click on that link. That'll take you to your Amazon account. And if you put some in your cart, and if that's something Amazon pays commission on, I may get a small commission fee off of it. You, uh, you definitely wouldn't get charged anymore. It, uh, I think the, one of the things I did get paid for, I think it was 52 cents. It's better than nothing. How do you get this apart? Let's open it up now. There we go. Wow. Look at that. Boy, is that ever dirty in there. It's a wonder it worked as long as it did. Let's see if we can't clean some of that up. Might have to take this over to the sink, at least the, the top of it. And it's as... If you've ever cleaned anything like this, let me know. Uh, down in the description. Put a little uh, note down there. Let me know if what you think of something like this. Yeah, I'm going to take this over the sink later, but let's take a look at this. Right here is where the battery goes. It touches here, it touches there, and that's supposed to be a tester. I don't know if it works or not, but I replaced the thing because it quit working. So what I'm going to do is just wipe some of the grime out of here. I'm not going to get this real wet, at least right now. We'll get all that out of there, wipe it off a little. Got a shop rag over here. I don't know about this. Looks like I need to clean them terminals just a little bit. And this looks really corroded there also. Let me show you. I don't know if that's coming through or not, but these two contacts right there. And then this tester right there. I think the idea is you push it down, it touches a little wire there, and then it goes at it and beeps. So let me get a little file and we're going to clean this stuff up. But I've got this little file here. Got actually I have three files. We'll put I'm going to file this first, right? No, nope, not with that I'm not. It's too fat. Let's use this. Let's see if we can't get that 
cleaned up a little bit. That's, that's about as good as it's going to get. Now let's take this little flat file and file across the top of these. I'm half tempted to just put the battery in and see what happens. See the battery goes in just like this right here. Takes a nine volt battery. I hear something clicking in there. Do you hear that? Sounds like it's coming from right there. I'm going to get my uh, air compressor going and blow this out. That beeping is exactly what it was doing for, for Joe. That was driving me crazy. Get that off of there. And see if we can't pop this off to see why it's doing that. And I think if we just push those in, that should pop right out of there. Maybe. Let's push this in and that in. One thing's for sure, I can't tear it up too easy. It's got some pins inside holding it right across there. Oh, there she broke loose. Oh, I see where it was holding it, right here. A couple of squeeze ends. Now well, let's examine this and see if we see anything faulty under here. Maybe right there. I don't know. I don't see anything really. Let's touch this again. see anything on that? I really don't see anything that would be causing that uh, beep like that continually. Something is causing this to beep. I wonder if it's inside here. That could be because that's where you would get your smoke going in and causing. Let me get my air hose since it quit blowing and just blow the heck out of that. Okay, I have my air hose here. Let's try it again. What do you think? Is it going to still beep? Eh, probably, but let's try it. Well, that didn't help it.
Pretty sure that probably didn't do anything, but let's try it anyway. Now why'd it quit? Huh. Well, it's definitely faulty, isn't it? Let's get that out of there. There you have it. We tried it. It did work. I tried it a couple of different times. I put this on there like that, and, and right now it's not doing anything. What the heck? Let's see what happens if I push that. Nothing. So... Pushing this, <laughs> well, at least before you uh, made some racket. Well, it's not doing anything anymore. It must have bit the dust. So, like I was saying, do not try to repair these. It's not worth it. They're what under thirty dollars, maybe, just for a smoke detector. But since this one's broken anyway, let's see if we can't uh, pop this off and see what's going on. These, wow, that popped out of there real easy. I wonder if that's part of it. I wonder if I push that back down, if that makes contact now. Let's try it again. Maybe that's what was wrong with it. I think we found a problem. This contact and this contact pulled out and I pushed it back in. It wasn't making good contact. I didn't mess with this one. But look at that. Let's try it again. I think that thing's fixed. Let me get it down here again and put it back together. Let me get some fire and put under here and see if we can make it go. Well, it worked momentarily, didn't it? Trying to make this old smoke detector work, I'm going to take a file and clean those off just a little bit. Just hit them with a file a little on each point. That'll work good, just so we got good contact. Like I said, I'm not going to reuse this. I'm just curious to see if I could actually get it to work. Probably can't, but it's worth trying. Okay, this part here, I'm gonna pop that piece back out. And I have some contact cleaner here. It's uh, electric, oh wow. It's just electrical contact cleaner. And I'm gonna rub that on here because I'm just kind of thinking that that was in the house long enough. They actually don't recommend you put these in the kitchen because of grease and smoke and everything you get there from cooking. But that's where this one was. And I got those cleaned up. Now what I have here is dielectric grease. I'm going to put a little bit, not on here, I was going to, but I decided on these right here, I'll put a little dab in each one of these contacts. And I'm going to bend this up just a little bit so it puts quite a bit of pressure on 
on this plate that will, which I'm pretty sure it goes on like this right here. So that would go there, that one would go there, and that one would touch there. So just like that right there, if that was down in there the way it's supposed to be. Okay, now let's take the battery and touch it. Nothing. Let's put the battery in it so I don't have to fool with it. Let's take this again and I'm pretty sure that one went right there. I'm not positive. Just like that. Let's take this and push down on here now. Okay, that's not working. This right here only goes on one way because it's wider here. Yeah, see, just like that. Let's push that down tight. I can't tell if it's in there correctly or not. You know what? It almost looked like it is. Hear that? It's trying to work, but it's not very loud. That means this thing went bad. Let's shake it around a little bit and see if we can't get it to grab hold. Now let's push this button. Hear it? Well, we tried. Well, we know what the inside of a smoke detector looks like and what makes it run, what this does, what this does, all those circuits in there. Have you ever worked on one? Let me know. Like I said again, for the third time now, don't replace these by trying to repair them. These aren't made to repair, they're made to throw away. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with this, although I think I'll keep that battery. That battery was new. If you have anything to share, share it. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more vid videos similar to this, watch these two right here. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can fix it. Until the next one.